Hello again and welcome back to Dead Space 3. So on our last video, we finally fixed the ship, so we're heading our way to the icy planet of Tau Volantis. But Horton, on the other hand, decides we should use this ship to go home, but I've decided no, it's time for us to go to the planet and take care of this problem once and for all. I don't know how this is going to end up between Isaac and Norton, but let's just get into this adventure to see where this takes me. And before we get started, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment below, as well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. So with that out of the way, let's begin. So this is where I left off, and now we're going to go to the shuttle to go to the icy planet of Tau Volantis. And of course, oh, Horton isn't pleased with this. So let's go into the planet. Of course, I could just go into the... Think of the same thing, but... Every sacrifice needs to be taken. Alright, let's just place this and... Alright. Navigation module installed for what it's worth. Wait, I'm not getting in. Ah, there it goes. And just in time. Looks like our flight window's approaching. Good. I'm coming aboard. Coming in board, indeed. And from the looks of this, this brings me a lot of memories. Let's go see how everyone is doing in the ship. Of course, I gotta have to do some backtracking all that because I saved in the spot where I had to start over again with the satellites and all that. Well, I'm glad to see you too. What's that look for? This is going to work. Right. Our window's coming up. We go now or not at all. Hey, what's up with the oxygen injectors? How come they're not locked down? I tried, but the threads are rusty. Well, let me see what I can do. If one of those pops loose, the cabin fire is gonna burn us up before the atmosphere does. Do me a favor. Find the pressure reading on the main console and let me know when I have a solid seal. <laughs> Let's see what the whole thing is about. And one of those things are loose, so let's put it back in. That's one. Of course you did. Because I just twisted it. It's steady. Ready when you are. Righty, let's go into the planet now. And let's see. Horton, how are you doing? I don't think he's talking right now. Alright, these other twos are doing fine for now. And, right. There's Carver. And here I am as the cap driver. Not captain, but you know what I mean. This is suicide. Those mines will rip this ship apart. It'll hold. Okay, everyone. Let's see if this thing can fly. Fuel lines are go. Sensors online. I'm seeing mines at 2,000 meters. Targeting computers spinning up. Okay, Isaac. You have the controls. Projecting optimal route now. Try to keep it on course or shoot anything that gets in the way. One quarter forward. All right, so here we go. Now we're going to have to be playing some shooting game now. At least the shooting part of the area. Just watch where you're shooting and all that stuff, so 
Also, be careful where you hit. There they go. So whenever this points, just shoot him. And don't get stuff that's getting in the way. So far, so good. And I hit one of them. There we go. Ten seconds to end the Eight. You're holding on course. If we hit it at the wrong time, I got it. Spot. Here's where the fun begins. Three. Yes, so here we go into the icy planet. And this is getting pretty... well, hectic from this here on. Everything going on in the way. Right, here we go. Just keep shooting these things until we make it to the atmosphere. And I think there's an achievement for this if you do it without getting hit. So let's re refill the tank. There we go, now let's head back. No help for anyone in the back. Ooh, and that guy is already killed. Alright, so now we're continuing on with the destination. Almost there. And this is the icy planet of Ta Terra La Salanta. I can't focus because this is in the way. Tal Talanta. You know what? See what I mean? I'm not going to talk right now. So it looks like I survived, just frozen, hanging. Kind of reminds me a lot like Luke Skywalker. And my suit is damaged up, as well as my health low. Let's see where this leads me. Oh great, 
I can't even shut my helmet off, put on my helmet, whatever. Welcome to Tau Volantis. The ice planet of all. Tau Volantis, that's what it's pronounced. And the next chapter as well, off the grid. Alright, so you have the cooler meter. Depending on how low the temperature is. So basically... This area is cold. Let me just go back to see if I miss anything. Alright, found some health. Let's see where I am. And I got the achievement too. I'm gonna have to find the others now. Another thing you need to notice that the temperature is dropping. So if that happens, my health goes low. So I'm gonna have to find someplace warm to refill my temperature to get hot until I can find the suit to upgrade or at least repair it or whatever. And my thing is not working either. Let me just go back here. There's a lot of stuff here. Check behind this part. More ammo's here and there. Hopefully there's some more health around. There we go. Just to be sure. And that's the last remaining of the ship. Alright, enough said. Let's go find someplace warm where I can heat up. That is one sound that I don't want to hear. There's more stuff over there. So as you are already here, stay near the fire and your temperature will rise up. And uh, I can't see Isaac's face because he's already getting freezed up and all. Let's just find this thing, more items. And my locator is broken still. Actually, let me go circle around, see if I can find some artifact or files or whatever. Just for a completionist. And there's one of them right now. An item, at least. Now, keep in mind, I won't be able to find as much items, artifact, or whatever I can get my hands on throughout the entire video or game, but I will try my best. Let me just go back, because right now this is already the safer zone, or not the wind, not safer zone, but the windy zone. 
All right, there's nothing there, so let's just move on. Where I'm going? This way? I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Oh. And there's the ship all the way there. Ellie, no. Uh, it's not far. So is this area. So let's go into this area to see if there's... And that's a bad idea. Well, that was a close call. That was a close call. Ellie! Ellie, are you there? Damn it. And from the looks of Isaac's face, he's not looking too good. So there's no turning back now. Although I still have my look. Little buddy. Oh, and there's this. 20 damage plus and minus reload. Alright, so there are some perk that can take away half of your ability for that. Like, for instance, right now I just picked up 20 plus reload that makes it damage or whatever. I forgot. But it also, while the other one is upper and all that the other part is lower just takes that away so I probably have to avoid that whenever I upload a weapon or something like that and now we're back in the fog let's just go find a fire to warm up There's more the signals over this direction. Let me just take my time heating up. Just wait for a moment. Almost there. I believe 37. I was right. Okay, let's move on. And there it is. We're almost there to the ship. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'm counting on you again. I don't see any more files or weapons. And we're back into the wind again. Ellie! Ellie! Alright, just before we go in, let's just check around here. There's one. Okay. Hold it. Alright, now we can go in. Alright, so looks like Ellie's still alive. And this 
closed up on us. Let me take a look who he is. She is. Oh, it's that same jerk that we told him to get the stuff, that thing, whatever, to put the ship on, out in space. And there's a video. Let's see what it is. And do I write? There we go. Isaac, if you find this... God, I Ellie, find come it. on! We're freezing to death out here! I'm coming! We're on our way to find some shelter. But I'm gonna leave you this trail of flares. If the man's dead, Ellie, let's go! Isaac, please, be alive! Come on! <laughs> So, I am guess it so looks like Ellie is still alive. Lucky me. Alright, so let's see. Oh. There's some flare over there. Flare? There? You see what I did there? Three times. Real nice footprints. Really love the environment. As well as the graphics effect and all that. It's very similar to John Carpenter's The Thing. The setting of the movie. Carpenter himself would have been proud. Alright, enough said. Movie reference. Let's just follow the flare. And it's fresh. So they're not far. Let's see. Ellie, come in. Ellie! Of course she's alive. And that creature you just know, just encounter, we'll be meeting up with it again. In fact, we'll be meeting up at it several times. A snow beast, I think it's called. That's what it is called, hopefully. I know it. And I can't speak again. Let's just go find some place to warm up. More flares here and there. And there's this thing. Let's just go inside to warm up before we go any further. Let's see what this says. Simon Weber. Weber. Now let's turn this on just to warm up. You're listening to Aloha Station. Broadcasting to all the troops out there, wherever you are. Remember, boys, the colonies are counting on you. Right. Is this where not to play? Hold up. You're listening to Aloha Station. Broadcasting to all the troops out there. Oh, this is are. just the same one. Remember, boys, recording. So that's nothing special, so 
Now that we're already heated up, let's head back outside. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's move on. More ammunition here and there. That's nice. I didn't get something. Alright, there we go. Now we can go. Pretty windy. Speaking of which, it kind of reminds me of something. A couple of days ago, it was snowing real heavy. It only lasted for one day. I tried making a snowman, but it was wasn't going as much as I wanted it. So I just put in this umbrella, some sticks for the arms, and a belt. Of course, it only lasted for one day before it became warm again. Because I kind of live someplace in the warm, very warm. I just don't want to tell what it is, what place it is. Alright, let's see what's here. Hawaii? You could say that. And it's too dark. And there's the bench. That's nice. Let's just turn this thing on. There we go. And there was that giant snow thing again that we encountered earlier. Wall is gone. Is that you? Are you in range? God damn it. <laughs> Alright, so Ellie's nearby. And we found this ballless gun. Looks like a blueprint. Uh, just to be sure if there's anything I missed. Nope. So let's see if we can do something in the bench. Rapid fire repeater. That looks nice. Repeater. Or ripper, as I like to call it. I think this is the one that shoots multiple rounds instead of shooting it just pressing the trigger. I'm not sure. Let's just see the blueprint. And I don't have enough for whatever I need. <laughs> Alright, so this is what I'm talking about. Was it? I can't think, I can't remember. Still good with this. Oh, so now you're here. 
All right, let's see what you got. Well, I'm just gonna have to save you for later. Find another spot to look for some goodies. Let's go in the elevator. And down we go. Let me just check for a moment. Isaac's face. I don't know, but does he ever wipe his face when it's all ice and blood? Whatever. And there's another upgrade. The same thing. Looks like that thing following me. I'm guessing that it represents the next hunter. Oh boy. Looks like the slasher somehow found a way to get me. Eh, but luckily there's a another station right here. We'll just come back for that later. And there's a flare. Keep me up. Compressor. I'll get to that real soon in my next bench. Eh, nothing special, so let's move on. Alright, let's see what those slasher are up to. Hmm. I guess it was nothing. Oh good, my safe is already in progress. Things are in space. I mean, here. And they popped out of the snow. Great. Where are they? There's one. Nice. Tr I can't take a break for these guys, can I? All right, I'm almost out of heat, so let's just move on. And this is where I have to do the... Oh, no, it's not. It's different. Let's head back to heat up again. 
And of course this is the part where I have to repeat doing the same thing. Going back in and out just to repeat. Just to um, get my heat back. Otherwise I'll freeze to death. Just wait for it. And there we go. Let's move on. I'm gonna be using the plasma cutter for now. So basically, I thought this was the co-op part of the level, but fortunately it's not. So I'm going to have to be coming back here for later. And there's something up there. Let's see what it is. Some more ammo and this thing. Another one. Ah, it's nothing special. Let's see. And it's farther. Oh, great. Oh! That scared me. Literally scared. Oh, look at this. We found another scavenger bot. So basically we can use them to find more stuff, so that makes it more easier and faster for me to craft my weapons. Let's heat up. You're listening to Aloha Station. Just a friendly reminder from HQ. Be sure to have your ration card stamped for every meal. We don't want anyone going hungry out there. And now, a little something to warm you up. Oh, that's pretty thoughtful. An old typewriter. Let's move on. That'll take care of these guys. Let's see... More flares. Ah. 
There you go. I'm counting on you, buddy number two. Or is it number one? Hmm. Wonder where I am. Something's gonna pop out. Or not. You know what, I'm going back. I need to warm up before I freeze again. I wasn't there before. Now, a little something to warm up. Eh, whatever. Let me see what this one is capable of finding for me. It's all the way down here. Finished killing these hordes, more is just gonna pop out. See what I mean? There we go. And there's something over this area. Oh, look what I found. A secret area with a boulder in the middle and three paths. So basically, this is the area that you'll be encountering the most. Actually, this is the same. You'll find this place five times, four times, excuse me. And you find another part. Basically, this is repetitive this area level design of some sort but at least it's not that bad of course what's bad is that I have to go back and forth to wait where am I to re get my heat back and I really don't like that so again, you'll be finding this part of the level very multiple time. Yeah, most of this area is kind of linear. I don't know if that's the right word to describe it. Linear? Is it with you, um, most of the areas open wide and something like that? I don't know. I'm really not that bright, to be honest, about this. Nothing, okay. Let's head back in, see if we can put this... My first little buddy over there. Somewhere around here. No? Right.
you know what? Pain in the ass, I'm telling you right now. As I was saying, place this one. Alright, don't fail me. And let's head back again to re... I think I can do this, actually. I don't think I could freeze that bad. Let's go around here. Another one. Should have made the left turn in Albuquerque. Albuquerque. And this is where the flare leads up. There and here. Let's just go open this. Made it. Seek the alert. A snowsuit is required past this point. Oh great. So this is where I have to upgrade my suit. Because it's, because it's already damaged, what I'm trying to say. So let's head back where the other flares is located. Just taking our time till this thing opens. There we go. So we're going to have to require a upgraded suit in order to get through. Because I'm sure that the temperature over there is getting worse. And Where am I? Okay. Let me check around this part. Oh, and this is where I came from. I'm supposed to came to this area, but no. Just open this and get in before more comes by. There we go. And from the looks of this, I'm gonna have to end this video. Let's just see what's behind this door. Isaac! Well, I'll be damned. They headed for a research facility up the ridge. <coughs> we found snowsuits, but there weren't enough to go around, so I decided to stay behind. There might be more down in the basement. <coughs> might be. Uh, the elevator shot, and we heard something scratching around down there, so we didn't... <coughs> we didn't check. Buckle. Poor Buckle, onward, the next chapter. So it looks like we're gonna have to upgrade our suit down in the basement. Poor Buckle, froze to death just to sacrifice the others. Or, no, what I'm saying, sacrifice himself so he can save the others just in time. Just to be sure that you don't turn into these monsters. 
I'm gonna have to dismember you. Unfortunately, I have sense that I can't do it because it's not humane. You will be missed. Let's try to activate this elevator before we end this video. All clear. And more parts to find. Canister, recovery model, module. Let me put this in here, on the other side, throw it. And we're done. Elevator's back on. And almost, I guess. Just in case, let me just put in another one. Oh, we found one of our friends. Thanks. Let me see if I can replace a better one. Actually, let me try finding this. Compressor. Let me see how this compressor looks on the new one. Hopefully it's much faster than the last one I was using. Now that's better. Much faster and less annoying. Alright, let's go move on. Too bad I didn't see it too well. Right, I'm gonna have to end this video, so thank you for watching this. And like always, be sure to give a thumbs up if you like this, subscribe, and comment below. And until then, I will see you again in the next video.